Okay, we'll start with questions. We'll raise your hand. Carlos Silva, Lubbock Avalanche Journal. Andrew, um, obviously you were doing pretty well after that second inning. I guess what, what do you kind of feel was the pitch that kind of what was the one that went for a home run? Did you miss it? Did you kind of if you could just um, kind of describe yeah, it? Yeah, we were you know we were going for fastball up, um, and uh, you know if that's if it's if it's two more balls up, that's you know swing and miss. But you know I just uh, missed that one, didn't get it up, and you know it's, it's what happens sometimes. Just kind of speak to the the start for, for the the rest of the start for you after that. Obviously, you kind of shook it off, and it seems like everything kind of went for went, went well for you. Um, you know I. I <laughs> made sure to get those fastballs up that I needed that I needed to, um, and so uh, you know mixing the curveball and slide every once in a while, and so you know I just you know the, the two seam was moving well today, um, and so you know I just went out there and just try to compete and then not think about it and just move on to the next pitch and flush it. To the back, Mason Ordinsky with KLBK came back back in Lubbock. Uh, Coach, uh, what stood out to you about Oklahoma's pitching? What made them so tough tonight? I guess. Um, it starts with Skip. Obviously, their head coach is their pitching guy. He does a great job with uh, their pitchers. Uh, you know, you took take a guy like Bennett. Uh, I don't even think he was in there. I don't even know if he started for him last year in the midweek. Maybe he did. But you take a guy like that, and, uh, you know, he's, I don't know, he's in the top five in the league in probably every category. And you can see that, you know, he's uh, – Kids come a long way. You could see the kid was really, um, he had to step back a few times and really uh, keep things, it looked like to me, kind of regroup and make a pitch. And uh, really, it, so Bennett was ahead in the count today. Um, some of that was our doing, uh, swinging at maybe some balls. We might have helped him a hair early and really never got the pitch count where we needed to get it. And, uh, but again, I think, uh, you know, you're talking about a guy in his third year of college, and that's what it's supposed to look like when, you know, you get a left-hander like that, they're supposed to get better. Uh, Coach, Joe Healy, Baseball America. Was there something different about the way that Bennett went about tacking you this time versus the last time you guys saw him, which not too long ago? Um, if you'd have asked me that before the game, I really thought Skip would go to the fastball more just based on uh, the ballpark. You know how big it plays in the middle of the ballpark, and but no, I really thought right from the get go, um, he kind of over, kind of took advantage of our aggressiveness and uh, threw some change ups and some breaking balls, and might have a little bit better spin than, you know, than we maybe thought at one time because uh, we did move on some balls down, and no, I thought in every, um, there wasn't a whole lot of. Um, he did throw some, but early I really thought, uh, I think after the second inning he th had thrown, he'd faced six hitters and thrown 21 pitches. And so, you know, that a lot of that's on me. And, uh, you know, that's, you know, managing that bat some. And, uh, again, I'll take responsibility for that. I mean, you can make guys have, you know, see a pitch or two more. And, um, but, no, I, don't, I didn't think he attacked us any different. Coach Pete Christie at KCBD in Lubbock. Uh, tomorrow's a new day. You get Kansas State in an elimination game at 7. You've seen these guys four times now, including just a couple days ago. Your thoughts on the Wildcats? Pete, is the game at 7 or 1230? I think it's 7, isn't it? It's 7. Is it at 7? Yeah. Is that accurate? Are you all sure? I try to be accurate, That's coach. better than 1230. That's good. Because <laughs> we, we were actually kind of gearing towards – you never look at where you're going to play if you lose, obviously. And uh, I asked there at the end of the game uh, what time tomorrow's game was, and I thought it was 12.30. So that's already good news. Uh, I'd let the guys get a little bit of rest. And um, But, no, it's every time you get an opportunity to play this time of year or any time of year is an opportunity for guys to get a little bit better and uh, to work at their craft and – to use the physical reps to get better, you know, the mental side of the game. And and really this time of year, you you got to be good at both. You got to be good at mentally and physically. And uh, they were better than us today going pitch to pitch. And then, Coach, just seeing these guys, uh, you know, you had two hits through eight innings. They kept battling in the ninth. You got a two-run homer, a single. Just to see them keep fighting, that's got to be uh, good to see as you head t towards tomorrow. 
Yeah, I mean we're we're obviously gonna gonna play nine innings the best we can, and um, you know again it's uh, every time we get an opportunity to to you know to, to work on both sides of the game, we we need to take advantage of it. In the back, Mason Ordinsky with KLBK came back. Coach, is, is it gonna be Brandon on the hill tomorrow? Birdsell, yes. Uh, what's it mean to have him on the mound coming into this game? Um, I mean he's definitely. Uh, it's better than the alternative for sure. I mean, yeah, he was, he uh, put together a really good year. Um, a guy you know is going to be prepared. A guy you know is going to embrace the moment. Uh, a guy you know that loves to pitch, loves to have the ball in his hand, as does Andrew, as does all of our staff. But uh, Birdie and Andrew both have been, you know, they've been great examples for a bunch of guys, how you go about your work and how you prepare each week, and so um, pretty cool. Okay, we'll take a couple more. It's late. Don. Tim, is anything wrong with uh, Owen Washburn for you all to take him out? You know, no, no, just thought it was an opportunity to get get some guys off the bench. I mean, really, um, Cooper, Cooper Swanson's a guy who usually handles left-handed pitching really good and thought, thought he might get in there and put together a good at-bat. And uh, well, from from your perspective, what happened on the, I guess, kind of the botched rundown, the the last runs they scored there in the seventh inning, where Cole skipped the throw past Kurt? Yeah. Um, what happened exactly? Ball went into left field. It's the easiest way to explain it. There, there's two things Cole could do. He could throw it to second and get that out, or he could defend the other guy. The other guy was going. And uh, he chose to get the guy at second, and so didn't get either one of them. One more. I had to bring that up, Don. I was about to uh, forgot about that one. One more. Anything? All good? Okay. okay. Thanks, guys.